And the reason the thermal paste is used is because what it does is it makes sure that the contact that's between the CPU and the water block maintains evenly throughout the entire contact area. And that's very important because if you put the water block right onto it without the thermal paste, there are going to be some parts that are not touching the water block and those are the parts that are going to get very hot. So the purpose of the thermal paste is to even out the distribution of the water block contact with the CPU. So it's all nice and even. So the next thing to do is to use this nice little plastic wrapping, which is my secret of how I spread it out, and simply Smear it all around, and more importantly, what you need to do is make sure that it's nice and even everywhere. Try to get it as all as much as possible all over the place. Now I've seen this done with knives, with spoons. I found that doing it the way I'm doing it with my finger creates the best even distribution because you can feel with your finger any spots that are not evenly distributed. Okay, that's pretty much even all around. Now, what I do is I open up the water block. Here's the water block. Take it out of its case. There we go. And oh, nice and shiny. This is cool lance here. As you can see, it's got two holes. It's got an in and an out. And the in is as close to the middle of the water block as it possibly can be. And the reason for that is the middle of the processor is where it is the hottest. So the purpose is to have the water go in at the hottest point to cool the CPU as most efficiently as possible. Now on the back, it says please remove film before use. So I'm going to remove it and put it right onto the processor as fast as possible. And since everything on the motherboard is labeled in this direction, so you can read it easy, I'm going to put this water block um, aligned the same way. So let me remove it. As you can see, it's nice and shiny. And I'm going to stick it right on there, just like that. Okay, well, it's pretty much aligned. Okay, now the next thing to do oh, let me see what are these little things Don't think I need them. All right, now the next thing to do is to put the posts right through these. So um, the posts go through here. Ah, uh, yes, they do. They go through here. Let's see, how would they connect? Goes this way or this way? This way. No. Nope. Oh, looks like I need to read the directions here. Let's see. Uh -huh. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up and put it right through. Yep, that's how I need to do it. All right, so let me take my pliers and connect the, yeah, connect them so they're right on.
And then what I have to do is I have to screw it in. Yep, that's it. Now I'm going to do the same with the other one. All right. <clears throat> then we're doing the third one. Now all these different holes, in case you're wondering why I have so many, is to make sure that no matter what kind of motherboard we have, it will fit. So that's the reason why there's so many. And I know that <clears throat> the one that I need for for uh, this motherboard, which is the SR2 motherboard, since I'm using the Xeon. 5690 processors, that's the LGA 1366 processor socket. So that hole is meant specifically for that socket. There we go. Okay. And then we have the last one. Okay. Oh, we have one minute left. Mm. So what we need to do is connect power to the camera because we have one minute left. There we go. Now we should be fine. There we go. All right. Now I need to put the little rubber washer in place. Wrong way. This way. There we go. This will ensure that the metal contacts don't touch the motherboard. And I'm going to hold the water block with one hand and put the put the posts from the other side of the motherboard. So this is going to be a little tricky. Okay, here we go. Okay. That's it. Now, the next thing to do is to put the washers right on the water block, like so. And then to put the four springs, which are having a difficult time of getting in because my hand isn't underneath it, so let me hold it up. There we go. I don't think I need the springs. I 
Yeah, I don't think I need tell. Let me see. Maybe I do. Nope, don't need the springs. Okay, and I basically put these screws on the top. On all four sides. Third side. And here's the fourth side. There you go. And now I basically just turn all four corners until they're nice and tight. The reason you want it nice and tight, but not too tight, is because you want to make sure that the water block 